Hello and welcome to Crafting with Jane. Um, we're doing Christmas again and um, I'm doing some Christmas ornaments. Um, I like little hanging stars and things like that from the tree and this is a really pretty one. So what you need is a square piece of um, card. So this says me looking at that, that doesn't look very square does it? I think some of these have got a bit that's definitely not square i think i need to re recut or jig that one that doesn't look square at all does it it's supposed to be square but i think oh yes it is it was caught up right so you need a square five pieces of square um cardstock paper um, anything you want you can do it with really thin paper you can do it with thick paper um, the thicker it is the more difficult it is to fold um, I've done this four inches by four inches only because then it's easier to fit on the screen um, you can do it five by five six by six uh, whatever size you've got you want the same paper you could do it in in white paper and then um you know print all over it as well however you want to do it so five pieces of four by four in my case i've got some pegs to hold it down wooden pegs are the best um because they um they're easier to get off a plastic peds i don't particularly like um and you need to this is double sided so I want this to be my pattern so I'm going to take it on the opposite side and very simply what you do is you fold it corner to corner so fold it like that and bone folder because it helps with crisp edges okay then we open it up so we've got a score line running down the center and we're going to fold this corner up to that score line to give us a point I'll do a few of these so that uh, uh, well we've got five to do so I will probably do five I've done some in preparation and again just score it turn it round to the other side and you're going to do exactly the same and basically you're making a kite so it's a kite shape so mark that down again burnish it up and then this piece here is going to come up to the top to form your kite. So very simple, straightforward folds. Now, the easiest way is to fold it in half along those scores. It wants to go that way and just burnish it down again. OK, and then we're going to open it up. Now, on this bottom part, you can see where your line runs through. We're going to take this corner up and we're going to fold it up against that edge okay we're going to go to the opposite side and we're going to fold this corner up to that edge and then burnish it now when we open this up you will see that there is a little pocket piece in the center there that's what we need to glue so we can open this up and we're going to put glue right the way along here. Now I'm using wet glue. You can use whatever you want. Um, if you're using heavier paper, I would suggest using something like um, a glue gun. And then these pieces we're just going to pop down on like this. And I'm going to take my peg and just put that across there and put it to one side. So let's do another one. Take our piece. Um, that's the side we want to work with so we're working on the opposite side fold it across corner to corner to form ourselves a triangle burnish it open it up we've got the line down there this point is going to come up here and it's going to fold straight along there take it down to our point and burnish it turn it round the other side that point is going to come up and it's going to go flat along here and just get our point now you need to be as accurate as you can but you don't um you know me i'm not hugely hugely accurate it doesn't matter that much 
um, it when we finish it you'll see how the points go um, and it's nicer if you get it completely accurate but um, this point now goes up along this edge um, it's not you can work with it if you're not burnish it makes quite a bit of a difference and as I say the heavier the cardstock the more difficult it is okay so when we open it up again we've got this little little piece here that flips up and that's the piece we need to glue so we're going to glue all the way along here like that glue those pieces down and as I say I'm putting this on so that then I don't have to waste around and then I can go and do my next one so we'll do one more and then I have done the others in preparation so they've had a little bit longer to dry um, and it doesn't need to be huge you know you don't have to wait for a huge amount of time for them to dry you just need to wait so they they've dried quite firmly so line down the center and we're just going to fold it it's if you sort of roll it a little bit it's a little bit easier um, but you want to make sure that you're up to the line but not across the line because otherwise that won't fold nicely so it doesn't matter if you're a little bit um a little bit out so you see on this side i'm probably not i am pretty pretty accurate on that one but if you've got a little bit of it so i've got a little bit of a space there that doesn't matter too much this one then comes in along on the top and again you can fold it up quite neatly because you've got that line to follow fold it in half so that then that gives us our point piece to start off with like that open it up this to that corner and this to this corner okay so that's three and then as you open that up you just need to put some glue down in on here so you're going to do this to all five of them get that glue in there so I will do the others afterwards um, because as I say I've done some in preparation so just glue that up carefully so I can put all these ones to one side until they have finished uh, with my pegs and I've got another two to do okay so these are the ones that I've already done and I've taken um, the pegs off so they were like that and you can see they form almost like a little cup and what we're going to do is we're going to squash them this way like that and then burnish them okay and you'll see you've still got a little triangle here and that's what we need to be aware of so we're going to do it to all of them fold them across fold them across oh that one's not a very good one is it so you can see sometimes i haven't got it completely right have i that's quite a squiffy one why is that so squiffy if I can get that straighter down there that needs to come out to the point like that this one is a bit it'll be all right I think so we'll see that one is, was not folded as flat this one fine just fold it down and then this one fold it across and again you're just gonna fold it up now, where was this one that, take it up from there, fold it across like that and just fold it down. I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be all right. Okay, so 
what we then need to do these little triangle pieces here we need to put our glue on so let's put our glue down on here and you need to go right up to the edges and then we're going to take the next one. I'm going to leave that squiffy one to the last. And you can see the triangle a bit on there. You want to put them together like that. So that these points are together. Fold it like that. And then we're going to take the next one in on this triangular piece. You can see where the fold is. So you want to do right the way up into the edge on here. Then we'll take the next one. We're going to put that in like that. And again, just make sure they're all lined up together. I'll take the next one. I'm going to leave my squiffy one till last, I think, because these are quite nice. And then again, fold it up, make sure those points are together. And that comes in. It's one of the nice things about having wet glue, because you get a bit of wiggle room with it. If you're using, um, I think we'll be all right with that. Um, if you're using um, hot glue or um, red line tape or any of those sorts of things, you don't have any wiggle room, so you need to be more precise. This is a little bit squiffy, but I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. Put those points in like that. Take it up on here. You can see that one isn't quite, quite as straight, but it's straight on those pieces. So I just need to make sure that we've got it now I'm going to literally just for a second because I want it to dry nicely I'm going to take my peg and I'm just going to put it on here like that okay so we're going to hold it like that <coughs> while I do the other two of these to finish them off so we've got our corner to corner and again, sometimes I think it's because I maybe not cut cut this absolutely accurately. Um, fold it up to here. But you can see you can do them quite quickly. And if you do great big huge ones, they look fantastic. But you can also do tiny weeny ones. So you could do ones three inches by three inches. Even two inches by two inches. A um, little bit more fiddly for folding. But as long as it's square, you can do any size you want. And that, I think, is the nicest thing. So, you know, I can have some really big ones hanging down as decorations. And I think I should probably get some um, silver paper. Um, I don't want it too thick because you can see with this, even it being cardstock, it doesn't, it's not as easy to do um, for this last fold on here because it's quite thick. So... If you have it any thicker than this, um, you're going to struggle. But if it's a if it's a bigger sized sheet, it's easier to do. So let's fold this one on here. The other one should be almost drying by now. But you can see when you open this up, you've got this little triangle like that. And that's the bit I need to glue. Put that in like that find my other these should have glued nicely by now so put my peg on there um, and then the last one by which time it should have finished so corner to corner bring it down open it up this one through onto here like that but they're quite fun. They're fun to do. You know, you can do them with um, your children or grandchildren. Um, you know, they're a nice little project to do because they're not particularly complicated or difficult. Um, you know, they've been going for years and years and years. It's just um, 
sometimes I, I the reason I put things on to YouTube is yes for you guys to be able to see them and see what we're making and have some different ideas but also for me because you know when I want to do something I just look up on my channel and go Christmas and then I've got all sorts of ideas and I've got all of my um thought processes instructions and things like that on there so i don't have to um you know remember how i've done things or whatever as you get older your memory isn't quite as good as it used to be so i find it's quite good to you know look back at all the different videos that i've done and then i can see where i'm going and uh, and what i need to do okay so i can put those up on there so i've got another one to do which I will do afterwards. So let's take this off of here because this now should be nice and glued. And then what we need to do is we're going to take it all the way around. So it's got to come in on this bit here. So this is the last one. So this one we need to put it onto again just onto the triangular part. So this piece on here. Just take it to there. I might actually do it on the other side as well. So we've got two pieces to do. Because this bit I've just got to hold. So I'll do it up to the edge. And then we're just going to bring it together. And that piece on that piece has just got to stick together like that so that's the bit that I need to hold but you can see on there you've now got a beautiful star apart from I'm holding this piece but once it's it's glued uh, wet glue is really good because it's quite easy to um, it it holds quite quickly um, so let me just once I've got that glued nicely which I think it's fine And then put that out like that and you've got your beautiful star so you know just put a put a little um hole through on the top you can have it to hang up on the christmas tree you can have it to hang if you did lots of little ones you can have them you know all sort of hanging along um get a nice piece of um you know twig spray the twig do lots of little ones and have them hanging off of there but a really simple easy pretty star shape um, and I think that they're actually really rather fun so I hope you enjoyed that as always please stay safe and well please be kind and look forward to seeing you again soon bye bye